Hello, and welcome to today's Mighty Mini Monday. So uh, last week, we covered namespaces. And today, it's all about control groups, or more commonly referred to as C groups. The No Channel. So this is actually my second recording on C groups. And the reason is I have been really stuck in between giving too much information, like I did in namespaces, and too little information. Um, so my first video was way too much information. We were getting down into the hierarchies and the control structures and what year uh, they were started. So if that really matters to you, leave me a comment, let me know, and I will give you a whole history on control groups and we'll do a deep dive into them to understand exactly how they work at the kernel level. Um, suffice to say, there are two versions of control groups. Control group number version one started around 2007 and around 2013, control group version two work began. And it wasn't until 2019 until Fedora adopted it as the default option. Uh, so what version runs on your OS right now? I, I don't know. Um, Fedora 31 and on is defaulting to version two. And you can even get into running both version one and version two at the same time, although that's really weird and I don't recommend it unless if you have an absolute reason to do so. All right, so uh, that was a short story, but in the end, control group version one and control group version two does the same thing. Version one had all this unnecessary complexity that was supposed to be there to give extra uh, freedom that caused extra work, was slow, uh, was hard to maintain, and ended up just having a lot of issues with it. And that's where control groups version two. And the biggest thing that changes was it used to be in control groups where you could have multiple hierarchies and your controllers, so for CPU or memory or whatnot, could really only be attached to one hierarchy, or they could be connected to multiple hierarchies if there was no other, uh, it wasn't a shared hierarchy. And so there was all these confusing rules. And so then most people just made a CPU hierarchy, a memory hierarchy, and then inside those hierarchies, they had sub hierarchies that mirrored each other. And so there was all this extra work because of all of this and they, they gave that up. So that is control groups. But now you probably know way more about control groups and still are probably wondering what they do. Uh, so control groups, when we talked last week about namespaces, namespaces were about how to cordon off a process and make it uh, not be able to reach outside. But one of the things that we commented on those namespaces was the fact that it didn't uh, disable that process or group of processes because it could have child processes from consuming all of the resources, whether it's CPU, disk IO, uh, network. And, and so this is the problem that inherently namespaces don't solve. And this is exactly what control groups or C groups looks to solve. So right now there is a long list of different um, controllers that control access to the different resources from CPU to memory to network. And these allow you to control how much resources are available to a, a, a hierarchy or a process, a group. And this is a tool that's leveraged in containers and specifically in Kubernetes, when you set how many CPUs or how much memory you're wanting to allow a container to use. Uh, and this is kind of the backbone of your containers. It's one of the ways that you can make this well-contained uh, structure for your container. And that's C group. So I'm providing some links below so that you can go ahead and explore C group some more if you want. When we really get into the meats of containers the hardest way, and I post that course, 
you will find that we go into a lot of detail on C groups and we get to understand them a lot better. So that's something that you're interested in. Post a link below because that uh, post a comment letting me know that you're really looking forward to knowing more about C groups and that will bump it up on my priority to get that one done. All right. So that's really all I have to say. C groups, it's really how you control your resource allocation or and uh, consumption. And that's it. All right. I hope that you guys have had a fantastic start of your week. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. It shows me that you enjoyed these videos. It showed me that uh, you're uh, learning that these videos are helping you and it encourages me on my uh, path forward. If you have any suggestions, uh, please leave them below so I can continue to provide the content that you like. If you did not like this video, I'm gonna need you to go ahead, subscribe, hit the notification so you get alerted when there's another video and stick around and see if these videos get any better for science.